Hey Limeys, happy Friday and happy full moon. I guess we're supposed to have a lunar eclipse. Um, I'm hoping it's tonight because last night it was a little overcast and um, I didn't get to see, so I'm hoping it's tonight. Um, we're, I'm winding down my time here at San Aviv with my mom and today was a pretty light day. It had um, some time on the beamer in the quiet room, hyperbaric, um, trying to think what else. It was pretty easy, discharge. So on the Friday of your discharge, you meet with your doctor, they give you a binder that has all of the results of every test that you've done while you're here. I am missing one, I'm missing my hormone panel that hasn't come in yet, but it includes all my x-rays, the ultrasounds, um, the dental, um, what else did I have done? All my labs. Oh, yeah, I have a urinary tract infection. That's nice. Um, I was like, what? Um, so it's all there, and then there are recommendations. So all the supplements and or medications, what your follow-up looks like, what's covered under the program that you paid for. Um, and like my mom's doc, Dr. Rodriguez, she actually included a whole bunch of articles on the supplements, how they work in the body, the mitochondrial repair, so that she could actually read the articles that support why Dr. Rodriguez is suggesting those specific supplements. Um, and then you meet with the uh, pharmacy, which is, you know, like we had Gerardo, and he came down and he was like, okay, this is what you're gonna go home with, this is the link to the store, this is what they suggest, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so today I opened my mom's discharge binder and I'm thumbing through, just kind of looking. So um, I missed her discharge meeting because I was in the hyperbaric. And um, I get to her dark field. And my mother's 73. She's had two craniotomies and radiation. And her blood is so much healthier than mine. It's ridiculous. Like mine's all clumpy and stacked again. And you can see the inflammation and nice little yeast balls floating around Jesus Christ I literally just started to cry I just lost my shit I was just like what the what um it's just you know I'm a mess I'm a mess and I'm not sure how I got here I'm not sure what happened it's frustrating. I, I'm not gonna lie. It's you know, I called James and lost my shit again, and I'm tired of being my number one priority. I'm tired of like this consuming, you know, a lot of my thoughts and actions and. It always does, but in in the sense of someone who's not well, you know. So like up until late April, early May, like taking care of myself was just, you know, yeah. I exercise, eat right, but it was nowhere near the degree that it is now. Like two IVs a week, colonics, it's now like an all-consuming thing again. And it's fucking frustrating and disappointing and... The just shit, shit. Just. So, I definitely have a leaky gut. So, I have a lot of repair work to do there. Um, hopefully, maybe we'll get some answers with the hormone panel. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got a mess going on here, people. And, and not just a little bit, but a lot. So, um, it takes 10 days for the stem cells to really root. So, I'm hoping that I can find a dark field analysis somewhere in, you know, the Denver area. And 10 days from tomorrow, um, hopefully get some live blood analysis and hopefully 
you know, see some changes. Um, but yeah, I've got I've got some some work in front of me for sure. Um, I did get my EBV levels back, and for IgG and nuclear IgG, they were high. So indication definitely of a past infection. Um, still trying to sort out all the literature. It's kind of like, you know, Lyme, IgG, IgM. It's definitely not a current active infection, um, like I was wondering, but it could be a, a reactivated as well. It's just, I haven't been able to actually get online here because there's a, seriously one place you can get online. And um, you literally have like snippets of time, like five minutes here, 10 minutes there. Like your schedule is 12 hours a day, people. It's no joke. So I'll be doing a lot of research when I get back. Um, gonna be fermenting my own kefir, double fermenting, and getting some good probiotic action going on in the gut, and just taking two more steps on this road back to health and wellness and vitality and life and all the great stuff that I've been striving for and had you know, so my mom actually said something to me not just like 20 minutes ago and she was like, you know, maybe, maybe you didn't cross that bridge all the way. Maybe you only got three quarters of the way or halfway and then whatever happened with your gallbladder and your liver and your gut is just like, you know, taking you backwards. You know, maybe, I don't know, this is all, I mean, it's just real-time live recording of what the hell's going on so maybe I didn't maybe that 95 96 97 percent that I thought I had gained wasn't really that much I don't know I don't know all I know is that I was moving and grooving and doing doing really really well and living my life and getting getting it done and I've kind of come to not a stop but definitely a, a more of a granny pace again so you know I'm trying to breathe you know I definitely had my my shit show with James on the phone I called and was like ah. so um, it's all part of it right at least that's what I keep trying to tell myself like there's lessons and I know that and something went down in my system something erupted and caused this massive train wreck I got going on and so I just need to go back and a try and figure out what happened you know what um, because I certainly don't want to repeat this, I, you know, so if this is a behavior that, that I caused, you know, sloppy eating or I wasn't healed as much as I thought I was and was starting to get a little sloppy, I don't know. So, um, you know, really look back and try and find a pattern of behavior or a couple of events so that if in the future it's happening again, I can recognize it. Um, and then, you know, get back to work. And another great thing my mom said to me, she's like, you know, because I was just like lamenting and just being frustrated and, you know, just fucking pissed, just really, honestly. And she says, you know, honey, um, how did she put it? The first time around, you were grasping in the dark and there's these tiny rays of light and you had to go into all these deep dark corners to find information and, and to put things together and to look. And she's like, but this time, you know, there is light. The, the terrain is lit, you've already been here. So it's not going to be as difficult as it was the last time. It's still gonna be difficult because you're working on the microbiome of your gut and you know, you're trying to put that entire system back together, but you now have the knowledge, you still have the brain. You know, I had the knowledge before, I just didn't have the brain function to be able to pull up the information. And she's like, now you have your brain function and you have the knowledge and even more knowledge, you can access it and, and you've done this successfully. So it's not, it's not gonna be as hard as it was last time. 
and she's right she's right and and I'm grateful for that because I was you know feeling kind of helpless and just so we go on the journey of the gut repair yay <sighs> but this is the life of recovering from Lyme trying to put the body together and the reality is is I had it for 14 years and it's gonna take time it's gonna take time for me to put this puzzle back together and my gut has always been my weakest organ um, since I was a kid so in some ways it doesn't surprise me you know um, I just wish I could figure it out so welcome to the next chapter leaky gut and hopefully you know the blood will look better the stem cells will kick in help my immune system help my gut um, and just take it one step at a time so from this hot mess in the beautiful Baja I uh, wish you love and light and health and wellness always and two more steps and I will still be swimming, so two more strokes for me. And continued detox, people. That is key. And so I will be doing that as well. So, mwah. happy full moon. Happy Friday. The last Friday of July. And I will see you guys soon.